Hey, welcome to Bifocal. Today's show uh, is going to be a little bit of a different twist. Uh, we're going to talk about a different industry that we haven't talked about for a while. We're going to talk a lot about employee recognition. We're going to talk about uh, employee uh, awards, etc. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Today's show is going to be uh, uh, interesting from the standpoint that we haven't had a show like this before. It's going to be a little bit of an interesting topic for it, so I'm kind of anxious to go through it. We have uh, John Orr, Director of Sales and Development for Pla uh, Masson Plaque and Ben Silver Patent Plaques. So, John, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Dan. Glad yeah. to be here. Yeah. So you're you're not far from here. No, we're we're in we started in Masson, Ohio. We kept the name. But actually, we're in North Canton, okay. just down the street by Very the airport. Good. Very good. So how long have you been in the plaque business? Well, I've been in the plaque business with Mass Plaque almost five years. Okay. The company itself, we're celebrating 65 years this year. We started back in uh, 1955. And the current ownership's been there mm, almost 40 years. So you guys have been around a while. Yes, long yeah. time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Mass and Plaque. Well, you know, we've been around for a long, long time, and uh, it's uh, it was a regional name. It's really strong regionally, um, and we specialized in, you know, employee recognition, awards, interior, exterior, architectural signage, and uh, we we have a we have a certain niche in the market where we have a product. No, wait. It, so you're saying you don't just do plaques? We just don't do plaques. So you'll see. Um, we're in the process of rebranding. You'll see a new logo. And um, because if you're out in, we're, we're a global company, uh, someone from, let's say, Texas. Well, what's Massillon? Or they'll mispronounce Massillon. The name was so popular. We here. kept it here. And it had to, you know, you have something that's been around 40, 50 yeah. years. We just. Oh, well, you had the Massillon Tigers. Yeah, the Massillon Tigers. Yes, yes. Um, so we kept it. Uh, then we built a brand new building, and the name is really strong. So, um, with the all the different things we do, it, plaque sort of put us in a corner. Yeah, you know. And then we had a little image problem. People thought we were too big, but onesies and twosies put us where we're at today. Interesting, you know. Interesting. So you talk about you do a lot of uh, employee recognition. Yeah. Like, give give me some ideas of how companies would use you? Well, they use us several different ways. So there's so many ways of recognizing employees. But they would use us for length of service. So if someone had one, two, 10, 20, 30 years of service, that is one. Um, sales person of the month, uh, salesman of the year, sales person of the year, um, Safety awards, they've gone X amount of days, and safety is a big thing right now. Yeah. Um, someone retiring. If it's a, it's a large company, you have a board of directors, how to honor those board of directors. Uh, it's not only companies, we have schools and colleges that we deal with. So you take any college, uh, donor recognition is huge. You have colleges that people give billions of dollars to. How do we recognize them? They usually name a building after them, or you'll see a cast iron plaque, or they name the building after them. So we do the lettering and stuff of that nature. So there's a lot of different applications. Right. It's just not sports. People always think plaques and sports, but no, it goes all yeah. the whole way. You mentioned um, maybe a cast iron type. So give me some ideas of types of recognition plaques awards like what what would they look like well we can put them on almost any material we specialize in stainless steel all right all of our products are made here in the united states uh, we try to use all local so the wood of our plaques is down in amish country we've been we've had a relationship with a couple lumber companies down there for 55 plus years they've sent us so the quality is there the same consistency. Mm -hmm. Our steel is from Ohio. It's made here in Ohio. So it's it's a locally. Yeah. You know, now we can put put our, our plaques, uh, our recognition on any type of material, from wood to acrylic 
to glass to crystal. And you, do you still refer to it as engraving? You can engrave in well, that? It's it's sketch, sketch, sketch. But we have an, uh, an electric photo process that we go through. And it's people think it's engraving, but it's not laser engraving. We actually are very, very old school. We, we use film. So we have a dark room and we, we shoot it on there and then they electrically apply it and then dip it into tanks. It's a, a 16 to 20 step process with almost 20 different touches along the way. Oh, wow. So it's not mass produced. We don't have a factory of we're just- So these aren't plaques people are buying for the little league uh, baseball well, team. Well, some do, some do. We can do- So you go from one end to the other. Oh, right, I do all the Ohio hot stove awards in the whole state, you know. And that's a lot of it. so we can we can do from one to a thousand and one yeah and more do you have uh, any particular industry you seem to play in more than another no we we're in a lot of different industries uh, on the mass and plaque side we're we're dealing with uh from churches and schools to your your large manufacturing companies to uh sports teams to you name it, uh, uh, nonprofits, really a big, big thing uh, because of the donor recognition. So you're, you're different nonprofits out there by a lot. Yeah. Now on the Ben Silver side, we specialize in patent plaques. Patents are a big thing here in the United States. Every Tuesday, the United States <clears throat> Patent Authority issues anywhere between 3,500 and 7,500 patents. Wait a minute, every when? Every Tuesday comes up, you can go. And so uh, there's a lot of companies. Wait, out. Every Tuesday, there's 3,500. At a minimum, yeah. And you can break it down. I don't know if anybody would ever, ever have guessed that. No, and these are just United States patents. So across the whole world, I, I, I These would, are approved patents. Approved patents and design patents. Because you can get a, uh, and, and then that doesn't include trademarks. <laughs> That's another complete different. So, you know, it's really uh, makes you proud to be an so American that, with all that ingenuity and yeah. stuff. So is that how Ben Silver came about? Because there was just, there was enough volume there to be its own standalone? Yeah. For many, many years, we had done all the work. Ben Silver was a company out, I think, Massachusetts. And they went to us and we did all their plaques for them. And they wanted to get out of the plaque business. They were also a high-end clothing uh, place out of there, out of Massachusetts. But they wanted to get out of the business. And since we were doing all their work, so we bought the company. The name was already established, and uh, we kept the name. So is there, would you say, be between Maslin Plaque and Ben Silver, is it totally two different applications? And It's the same applications, two different, you know, People buying them, basically, okay. with the uh, with the Ben Silver brand, um, you're getting a lot of high tech companies. You, you know, you have the large companies in Ohio, the Fortune 500 companies. They all have patents, and uh, they want to show those patents off. One of the big things I, I failed to say earlier that uh, you have a beautiful facility here. But when you walk in reception areas and stuff of that nature, they want to show off their inventions and stuff of that nature. And we have halls and walls and wall of fame, hall of fame from athletic hall of fames to donor hall of fames to academic hall of fame. You have a lot of repeat customers. We're very fortunate in that. Yes. And it's, it's more, and there's a lot newer company, you know, customers out there. Look at all the new businesses opening up and stuff of that nature. Yeah. So how about geographically? How far out you go? Well, the Mass and Plaque brand is mostly in the United States, with a heavy emphasis here in Northeastern Ohio and Ohio, but globally. I went today, I uh, was down walking down one of the, the halls at, the, at our facility, and I saw India, they're not back to work at an Indian plant. We have all these plaques that they paid for and we can't ship them yet. But uh, yeah, we, we ship all across the country. Or world, China, Japan, Taiwan. So why would a company in India, Taiwan, Texas, why would they call you? Well, it's kind of, kind of I think, because we don't market those areas, but we, we, are, we provide the R&D 100 
and top 150 awards for uh, research and development, and they're all across the world. They give these awards out. And fortunately, we've been doing these for a long time. The companies see that, look at the quality of this, and we always put a sticker or something on the bottom, and they call us. So you're kind of, you, you guys have kind of built a niche in some of these industries as yeah. a, you're, you're a main player in some of these, and so people are going to you. Exactly. They're going to us in the years of experience, too. Yeah. What's the competition like in your industry? Well, we like to think no one does what we do. And um, I was just out in San Diego uh, back in um, February, you know, before the world changed. And uh, I thought I'd stop at one of my competitors, just introduce myself, because it's really not a cutthroat business or anything of that nature. And I was expecting this huge company. From looking at their website here, it was about a four-person operation. And they heard of us, we heard of them, and they go, wow, you know. And we're a small company with a big footprint. We only have about 15 employees. But I'm assuming that's probably not uncommon in your industry. No, there's a lot of mom and pops in there that are just happy to, to yeah. get the little league teams. and The local. The, the local, right. How would somebody gauge quality? Like, what do you look like? I mean, you talk about some of this stuff you're doing is high end. Right. Patents, technology stuff, right? If I'm out looking, what am I looking for? Why would I go with you versus them or them versus you? Well, that's, a, it's a, that's a good question, all right? Stainless steel over aluminum. Okay, the stainless steel is much richer. And we have a, a process where we polish the borders. The color, the use of color. And then the wood, it's not pressed board with just a, a, a walnut or cherry finish. It's the real deal, real cherry. So real are, those, are those some of the things that kind of differentiate players from one another? Right. And what we do, like I said earlier, we have about 23 touches. And maybe our standards, some of our rejects are probably better projects than some of these companies could produce on their yeah. own. Well, this is... a. Uh, Maybe a tough question to put you on the spot, but price. Are you guys kind of at a higher end because you got a higher end product? Where do you where do you fall? And well, we're not one of those companies on the internet for three ninety nine or four ninety eight. We're on the higher end. Yeah, we like to think of ourselves as the crown jewel. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if they want a cheaper product, we could give it to them. But you know, this got us to the dance, let's say, and people just love it. And unfortunately, we have a product when you're filming metals, it doesn't, it, it doesn't film right or, you know, the photographs don't look the greatest. But once they have our product in their hand and I can take a, a product from uh, another competitor and they, wow. How often do you, when I say you, I'm referring to Mass and Plaque, not you personally, well, you personally, do you got to send samples out? We're a firm believer in samples. Samples sell. And I, I, I might, let's say a company gets their first sample or first patent. I'll send them a sample of our product free of charge. Hang it proud. And they'll give me a call and say, hey, you actually will do their patent on it? Yeah, with their patent right on it. And they, they, they go, well, why are you sending it to me? Congratulations. So you're sending that to them unannounced. Unannounced. And that's your advertisement to them. Right. Newspaper reprints is a large part of our business. Yep. We, there's a large, large accounting company down in uh, the Canton area. And every time they see one of their customers' children in the paper for sports or for academics, they, they call us and we make one up and they send that as a, as a gift to their uh, so it's a different way of thanking their own customers yeah. through recognition. Interesting. Very interesting. But newspaper reprints are very, oh, very, yeah. very big. Everyone likes to see their name in the newspaper. Well, plus I think once you get it on a plaque, it's preserved. Right. You, you don't have the, the newspaper that yellows and, you know, yeah. the frame that will break or anything. It's permanent. It's permanent. Right. It's permanent. So today we've got a little bit of a different world going on. You got this whole work from home thing going on. How's it impacted your your business, your industry, employee recognition, awards? 
Is it turning it upside down? Is it modifying it a little? What are you seeing? Well, it changes every day, okay, as, as you know. Um, we were shut down five weeks. So when we reopened, um, we were busy. We didn't know if it was because of more recognition or just the backlog of being shut down for, for five weeks. Um, and then sales are starting to go down a little bit. We're wondering, hmm. And they put a, sort of put recognition on the back burner. But now they realize the way that the companies are working now, this might be the new norm. People working from home, they're more productive from home. But then again, you still need to recognize them. Because, you know, uh, companies have Wall of Fame, Salesman of the Year awards, and you're, they're maybe posted down a hallway. And if you've ever received any awards like that, you'd like to see your name up on that wall. But here you're on a little island by yourself at home. You know, you don't have those things around. You don't have the mentors or the teachers or your, your bosses around to, to look at. Yeah. But remote recognition is what I'm calling it right now. And I've got a campaign going, recognition to the rescue, with proper recognition. Now, the world has changed a lot where a lot of these new hires were hired remotely. They, they, you, you could have a company in Cleveland, and they might have a salesperson in St. Louis or one in California, and they've never seen corporate headquarters. So it's a different world out there. Yep. So it's important to recognize these people because most surveys say uh, the best type of recognition is your peer-to-peer -peer recognition. And your peers aren't around you. So it's important to reach out. So there's many ways to recognize those workers that are away from the home office or just working from home. It could be as easy as sending an email, maybe a card in the mail, maybe on a Zoom meeting, um, pointing them out. It doesn't necessarily have to be a plaque, but you got to recognize them somehow, yeah. Yeah. or cash. Or well, I think that's an interesting point because um, you know I, I, I talk to a lot of people, and the big thing right now is this whole idea of company culture. Right, it's right. changing now. How do we as a company ad, uh, adapt to this? You know, you brought up the point about uh, employees getting hired and never even seeing the company. So how do they learn any culture Correct. about the company? They're not even talking to employees, at least face-to-face. -face. They haven't been inside the four walls. So probably now more than ever, the need for companies to really start focusing on employees Right, that's always been our number one asset. Right, but now I don't even get to see them. Probably got to raise that to the top of the right. food chain now. I believe and I agree, but they still the 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 mindset out there is it's an expense that we can't afford. But it, like you said, it's your most valuable asset. Yeah, and you just I, it's just an investment. How would you argue with somebody who says ah, I'm just going to give them a cash bonus? Well, I'm going to give him 100 bucks. Fair. And, that, and we run across that. Yeah. So, so several times a cash bonus or something still ends up on your pay stub. They're taking taxes out. Three or four months from now, what do they, what do they spend that cash on? Probably to pay bills or buy food. They don't even know. They don't even know. Exactly. Where you put it up on Unless on it's a $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, they, laughs> exactly. They may look in their garage <laughs> and say, yeah, well, there it is. There it is, yeah. right? Well, yeah, you've won. You know, I've won many awards throughout my career. I'm glad you said you. You started pointing to me, and well, I was going to say, well, no, I really haven't. So but, tell me about yours. Well, you know, something, I've won trips. I've won cash. But the ones that I really. They're good for the moment. They're good for the moment. And it, you know, cash has just a short emotional emotion, you know. Other than that first five minutes, you know, after that, the emotion's gone. How many people do you know over the years where they're still posting a, uh, when I say post, uh, at their home, they still got a trophy out from some little league thing oh. or some high school thing? All the time. Because you know. it, 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 it has a part in their heart. That's a great way of putting it. 
A part in your heart, yes. You can use that if you want okay. to use it. <laughs> Fine, that's a good. <laughs> you know, right. You know, yep. we have right now with, you know, the COVID and everything, these unsung heroes. You know, there's a lot of unsung heroes. They they like to point to the doctors and the nurses. But, you know, how about the people who work in a nursing home or even your mail? Per- I got mail every day during the, you know, the COVID. Or we... Uh, People who show up for work, the person that, you know, takes your money for the gas or yeah. your, your fast food worker. The checkout person check at out, like, Walmart. Uh, they're checkout. all heroes. They're all heroes. And they all want to be rewarded. Yeah. And somehow. But money, you know, it's non-tangible, non-emotional. And they yeah. forget about it. Uh, where an award, I have a couple of awards that sit on my desk I'm most proud of. Yeah. And I get to look at those do every you think, day. Do you think culture has changed over the years? Like if I go back, say, to my parents' generation, you know, your parents, I'm assuming we're yeah. similar age here. Do you think your parents would have been more into the cash versus uh, some award? Well... Our parents came from a great generation, and we got our work ethic from our parents. Um, I think, I think it was unheard of to give a cash. They were expected to do a job and do the. You know, if you're going to do something, do it right or don't do it at all. You know, yeah. and I think an award. I think the the, the my, award. My father worked at the Hoover Company for 43 years. Okay, okay. he was up worked in the factory. I think the the. One of the biggest awards he got, he, he got two. One, he got a watch. But I think that was at 20 years or something, okay? I think, he, I think he got a watch. But you know the one that he liked the most? No. It was a four-part award. And I think you got it at 30 years is when it started, I think. 30, 35 years. At 30 years, he got a picture. It was a painted picture of um, some historic, uh, I think it was the Hoover Mansion or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next year, you got another historic painting from the Hoover Company, and there was a four-part set to that, and he loved that. Oh, that's... Him and mom... Put them up on the wall. It was it was a trophy, if you will. Yeah, they liked it. They liked it. Well, there's a lot of awards out there liking. I remember early in my career. You know, if you put a cash, uh, there's a, a large company in uh, Akron. Okay, they had a uh, contest and they divided it in half. One was a, a cash award, or one was a regular. Uh, on a perpetual plaque or the people who got rewarded that was 50% more productive than the cash. Hmm. I remember again, younger in my career, this company I was working for, if you hit certain amount of sales, you got a ring, you know, shoot for the ring, the ring, the ring. And then you got two diamonds in it. And then if you hit another plateau, you got two more, you know, but that was a motivation. Where, yeah. you know, if you put a $100 bill back in the day up, ah, yeah. you know, they didn't get, but something long-term to shoot for, the ring, the ring, the ring, and that was drilled in my head. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm wondering if you're talking to, if you're talking to a company right now, what would be examples of things today mm-hmm. that you could uh, give them ideas about, hey, here are some things you might want to be considering under today's environment. Under today's environment, that's a, another great question, Dan. Um, when we're talking to a company, there's so many different layers of the company we can talk to. All right. So the first layer might be the HR department. Okay. Uh, a recognized employee will be more productive and most people don't leave a job because of money. They leave because of lack of recognition. They don't appreciate me or anything of that nature. Money falls probably about five or six. On well, you know schedule. what's interesting about that? Then I'll, I'll let you finish. But what's interesting about that is they're saying today, the millennials, money is not top priority. 
it's PTO. I want to like my job, right? It's not money is not the number one. Now, granted, they're not going to work for free, right? Right, but money is not the top. It's do I like my manager? Do they treat me fairly? Do I like my job? Do I get plenty of time off? Right. That's the key place. So we tell HR and other things HR has to, they control, they, they, they know who the length of service awards. So they know who's been there. You know, the top time to recognize an employee is probably the first day they worked, welcoming them to the team. And then that first year, that second year, <laughs> then 5, 10, 15, 20. They have to do these length of service. And then the retirement, uh, you know. But once you're inside a company, then you have the HR. Then most companies now have a safety department or a safety director. So workman's comp, a big bill for a lot of companies, you know. They want to try to be injury free, you know. When mom or dad go home from work or go to work every day, you want them to come back home safe. A lot of people don't do that. So safety is another thing. We've gone 185 days or 200 days and they reward people for noticing something unsafe uh, to practicing what they preach over there and they're giving safety awards. Bob, uh, you haven't had an accident or a near miss for so long, you give them a plaque or a trophy or what have you. Certificates are nice. And, oh, thanks. And it starts to become, they have a, they develop that safety culture. Sure. Then when you're in, then while you're into the company, then you might have a, a maintenance person or a, uh, a property manager who handles all the signage uh, from your name on your door to oh, wayward signage. signage. Today right. It's huge. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. I though. just had a gentleman on from Fast Signs. Right. And, and that's a, everything now. The sign is going everywhere. You know, from X's on the floor to where to stand. One way, wayward signing is huge, and signage took a big, um, a big increase now. But before that, when ADA, uh, when we had to put Braille on all the signage and stuff, and that's a that's a key thing too. But si interior signage is is key. Even when you walk in, you want your name up there. You want them in letters and stuff, or this an established uh, like your company was established in 1902 or and timelines is another thing there when you walk into a lobby they can see a timeline of your business on the wall if it was in vinyl or anything you know it's kind of neat and then you go into uh, maybe they've gotten certain awards they want like uh manufacturer of the year or if you're into a the medical uh hospitals are great for signage and yep. all the doctor, supplier of supplier the year. vendors of the year uh we do a lot of those so you have that type of person you're dealing with then you can go into the engineering department do they have any patents so you can go into a company seven eight nine ten layers deep to get different uh, is recognition that, is that um kind of how you guys target, you targeting companies where you see multiple layers for us to play in? That makes a lot, and even with our, um, with our customers, and you know, sometimes we don't do the best job, but there's customers that we have now that don't realize in each department, you know, sometimes a, a, a company, uh, they don't, because they're spread out so far and they don't share vendors yeah. and stuff of that nature. And they go, oh, I didn't know you do that. Yeah. Well, didn't you walk past Joyce or someone down the, yeah. down the hall? Well, sometimes from one department to the next, if it's big, they don't even know they, what they, the other departments are doing. Exactly, exactly. But uh, signage right now is really big. It, we it, haven't it, talked much about that. Yeah. Signage. Awesome. I mean, we've been talking about plaques, but you mentioned mass and plaque is big in signage. Architectural signage. Uh, so um, putting names on your building and uh, maybe a sign out by the street or, you know, hours of operation or uh, I think it's uh, one of the things when you go into a building now, uh, you need a map of the building. So that that's important or with uh, safety issues, you might have to put a one or two or three or four on doors or windows to let the fire department or the police know stuff of that nature. So signage and it could be, you know, your open, your hours of operation to. So is that side of your business? Kind it's of, going up. It's going up. It, um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of building going on right now, but 
it'll yeah. change. And then with uh, with more and more, I, I anticipate it's even going to go up more because uh, business space is going to open up as companies will probably be downsizing spaces. So a lot of things will be changing in names and stuff of that nature sure. because, hey, we don't need all this 25 or 30,000 square foot facility. Yeah. Are you, when you're talking to companies, are you talking to companies more on one-off needs or are you talking to companies more about program-based? Well, they come to us with one-off needs and we're selling programs to them. So we can do something we, uh, from hire to retire, like a whole full circle of an employee's life, you know, giving them something on their birthday or anniversary or that first sale or not only their anniversary with the company, but maybe their birthday or anniversary to their wife or significant yeah. other. Yeah. I would think right now, companies, HR departments, they're not really thinking about employee recognition as much. And I don't mean that as a negative, only because they got so many other things on their plate right now with the work from home and how am I managing this remote work from home now and time tracking and all the systems on the back end to do. I think they're probably preoccupied pretty heavily right now. But that being said, I have to believe that in the back of their mind, they have to soon be thinking, and you broached on it a little earlier, I got to start getting back to thinking about taking care of employees. Right now, everything's about safety and health, right? Which, I mean, obvious, but there's other things involved with the employee that's just safety and health, right? It's just recognition for good work. It's right. recognition for a good job, a project well done, done on time, done under budget, exceeded expectations. expectations. But we can, we can put ease and peace of mind on them. We'll take care of all that for them. Yeah. And it's a lot harder to find a person right now to work. With yeah. all of them. Yeah. And so I think studies have shown 32 to 35% retention rate when you start recognizing people. So, Interesting. Because out there right now, oh, there's no work. There, there's a lot of work out there right now. But, you know, to find a good company that recognizes their employees, I, I think they're, they're, they're forgetting about you know, their most valuable asset, like you put it. Let's put those people, you don't have to retrain them. You know they're going to come to work yeah. every day. Let's take care of them. Well, it's, uh, I've had several IT guys on, okay? The analogy from what you're talking about is identical to what they're, they were up against. And what I mean by that is the focus when COVID hit, the focus was from a technology standpoint is, oh boy, I got to get everybody home. And some companies were no more prepared for that than anything, right. right? Other companies more prepared, et cetera. But regardless, it was now, I got to be have everyone home tomorrow. Is my technology able to handle this? Most of the technology people that I've had on so far, and I have several IT people on, most of them have said, hey, a lot of companies had to scurry around pretty heavily to make that happen. And a lot of things were kind of piecemealed together just to make it happen in the time frame that I need it. Now they're saying companies are going back now and saying, hey, this work from home isn't a two month thing that we thought maybe it was going to be. It's gonna be more permanent. Now they're putting, putting more permanent things in place. They're shoring up some of this technology that was maybe piecemealed together or you know, it, it wasn't a permanent. Now they're going back, so I gotta make this more permanent. I see the things you're talking about very, very similar. Yeah, it, it is. And even when we were shut down for that period of time, how do I manage a sales force from home? You know, we did a lot of the walk, knock, cold calling type thing. Yeah. Now they had to up their game on their emails. And are they, you know, are the emails being answered? Are they following up on, you know, you couldn't really do a mailer because who do you mail to? They might not come into the office to get these mails and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough, tough yeah. Well, and I think, you know, I think the things you're talking about is I got my employees home. I, they're, they're up and working now, right? This is in any company talk. They're up and working. Uh, technology is getting short up, so I'm pretty comfortable now that everything's working. 
I got to get back to normal and getting back to normal means I got to start taking care of employees, not just from a technology standpoint, not just from a COVID standpoint. I got to start taking care of them. Employee retention is pretty, that's, that's an expensive thing. Right. It, it costs you a lot of money. A lot of money. Lose, when you lose an employer or even to go hire an employee. But, you know, we got to remember there are people like uh, in a company, like in our company, for example, we have the man, we have the people in the back producing it. So they can't do that from home. So no, they got to they so, be there. They got to be there. And then you have uh, our designers. They could probably do a split because they want to make sure it's made properly and stuff in the back. And then you have our salespeople who could do everything from home and it doesn't matter where they live. But sometimes there's some, I will call it jealousy. Oh, they get to work from home and I, and that doesn't bring people together. No. And when you bring, no. you know, that's well, so the idea of recognizing those them. people, those are kind of the front line, right? Right. Let's bring them together and here, yeah, you know, but you know, I love my job. I love my company because I get to do something. You know, it's almost as much fun as it is to receive an award. It's as fun to make them and to give them out because they welcome to see it. You know, wow. You know, and it's nice. I've never seen anyone. Oh, I don't want this award. I don't, you know, no. Yeah. It makes them feel good. Yeah. I always get a, I always get a kick out of talking uh, with various companies that, uh, that I don't have a lot of knowledge in. You know, I had a gentleman on from Fast Signs and him bringing me into his industry, it was like, geez, I had no idea, right? Listening to you talk about employee recognition, you know, that whole industry, if you will, and various programs and ideas of ways and different layers within companies you're dealing with. Right. It, it, it can get complex. There's a whole business there. Well, we have another, you know, we're trying to set up where, you know, uh, people are buying more and more things online now. So now that's a different, you know, that's merchandising. You know, you have merchandising. What can we, so we're trying our, our in that. But, you know, you take a look at these high school seniors. Some didn't get to play sports or anything. So we've come up with an idea how we can honor them in case there's no sports season or no band season or no school. But then we can branch us out to other things as well, which is, you know, yeah. nice. It's just, are you guys finding yourself now as a company in an industry, a lot of brainstorming to find new applications? Absolutely. We have to develop new product lines consistently. Yeah. But what worked yesterday isn't going to work today or tomorrow. I don't think that's uncommon. I no. think everyone's but what didn't today. work before might work now. Yeah, that's, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 you know, I never, you know, it's yeah. it's great. Well, yeah. how about the you talk about the sign biz? You couldn't go five feet without seeing uh, proud graduate, exactly right? on on banners and yep. stuff. So your fast or, sign guy did really or well. Or Jimmy's there. going into fourth grade, exactly right? right. Well, you know, we came from we're just getting out of that. Uh, the helicoptering parents were also everyone deserves a trophy. Yeah. But as they get older, did they spoil them too yeah. young? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, they, they, everyone gets an award. Everyone, and we didn't all get an award back in our day. No. I don't think. Only if you came we're in about first. Yeah. Only if you came only in first. first. Right, right. We didn't have, I didn't have a lot of those. Back to the Glenn Gary, Glenn <laughs> Ross. I don't know if you watched that <laughs> movie back. Great movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a great movie. The opening all scene is, uh, <laughs> is, is. I actually played that one time for a sales meeting, and I had to find I had to find a version on YouTube that it had all the yeah. stuff beeped out from, yeah. from Alec Baldwin. But, uh, yeah, that's a classic. That, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's unbelievable, you know. I think that was a real estate business and stuff of that nature. But that's yeah. very, very old school. But it, it, a lot of the principles, like I've always said, nothing new will be invented in sales. They'll just rename it and they'll write a book and make make millions. That's you know, it. you know. But yeah. the you know the most important thing in our business, we guarantee everything for life. Our stainless steel is guaranteed for life. Story I walked down to, we had a NASA John Glenn NASA. They've been buying uh, plaques from us and awards since 1963. So I went down the hall, and it's, I don't know if you've ever been up there, it's like Fort Knox. There's like three layers of security. And I, it's, it's up by the Hopkins Airport, and wow, it just, it's unbelievable what our space industry was back in the day, and it still is. But uh, 
I was showing her, oh, let me take this back. Let me, what, what are you doing, John? I go, those aren't up to our standards. She goes, that was back in 1964. I go, we're still honoring. And that, that, that oh, trust wow. factor and stuff and her you're like You're like a Sears Craftsman tool. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, I got this wrench that don't work. Exactly, yeah. poor Sears. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, we'll do that. Is that uh, unique in the marketplace? I believe so. I believe so. I don't see anyone, but our owners, you know, it's we do things that are not so unique, like sending samples out, full size sample, and sample sell, as we thought, and yep. taking care of the customer. Yeah. Well, I think for the business that you're in, having something in your hand has value. Exactly. Right. You got you and got that's just part of that's part of your marketing uh, uh, demands. Right. You right. got to get it in their hands, and they they see the quality then. And quality, you know, I always was taught, you buy price, you buy twice. So if they like you, if they like you, you know, just take care of the customer. What's important to the customer is what's important to the customer. Fulfill their needs and the business will take care of itself. Yeah. So where do you see your market going? I think more and more recognition, more and more home recognition, you know, for the remote workers. I see... Once the museums, more museums will be uh, opening up. Uh, cities are trying to, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going to be re redoing these cities and they're going to need plaques or, and, and yeah. stuff, historical markers and stuff of this nature. And uh, on, I think we'll get back to honoring more and more people. History has a tendency to repeat itself. Right. I think we're like, I, I was always raised that 1968 was the worst year ever, you know, 68, 69. And it's sort of repeating itself. And we'll all come out of this stronger and better companies. And, yeah. you know, it's, have you found in, in your industry, and I'm assuming you're kind of an old school industry. Yeah. The industry has been around a long time. Oh, exactly. Right? Right. So some people say that's an old school industry. Okay. Kind of like um, supply chain. That's old school. Man. Right. It's just, right. That's not neither good or bad. It's just, but are you finding COVID is challenging you to do things much quicker or differently than maybe you would have done if COVID didn't hit? Well, our sales process sometimes can be really long, a long uh, if there, if we if we sell programs, it's constant. Okay, yeah. so we'll change. But uh, most companies still, oh, we forgot about that. We better get. They want it tomorrow. And with our process, it doesn't happen. So we are I, just last week. A company um, called me up and said, "Can you help?" Sure, we can help. Uh, it was kind of funny. I had lost. Uh, they bought from another company and I quoted on it and the company said, oh, we can't deliver. They told them one day before it was supposed to be. And they're having a grand opening and all this and and all their donors were coming. I go, she says, well, this is what I want. I go, can't do what you want, but here's what we can do. And we were able to get that up and I've got a customer for life, you know, and, um, it felt great because she goes, wow, you saved me on this. I'm coming to you forever. But yeah. here's a company who, they were busy. They were busy. They dropped the ball and, oh, no. And it, you know, this particular thing. Their lack of planning became your issue. Right. You know, and planning, and that was great. And she had said, oh, you, you had the opportunity. I should have went with you the first time, but I was just looking, you know, there's more to it than the price. Yeah. So now when we, when we, I think her ceremony was at three o'clock and I was there at noon giving her the, the stuff to hang up and stuff and oh, just a smile on her face. Oh, and I'm stuff. sure. But you know, things like that companies, you still got a service, service sells and, yeah. you know, and keeping, keeping people happy, you know, yeah. and, uh, but with this COVID, it's a different animal out there. You know, uh, being a, oh, I'm used to getting in doors and getting past the gatekeeper. Now, you know, it's like 
back to a show warning warning will robinson don't enter without your mask don't you know you don't you have to have, take your temperature and then you're trying to give them something for i don't want to touch you know, so it, it, it's different it's yeah. different it's just how fast can you you got flexibility is really the yeah. The key out there right now, too. This thing's probably really hurt the copier business. <laughs> right. Those guys were always going door to door. Well, think of think of all the schools that shut down and, you know, your thousands and thousands. I mean, should be a lot more trees out there because I think yeah. the paperwork. But, yeah, yeah, copier salesperson, you know, even all businesses. Yeah. Who's, you know, you can buy cars online and stuff of that nature and they're not going to the showroom. It's it's it's. It's changed. It's totally changed. It, it's changed because uh, we we sell a little bit different type of product. You don't get a lot of recognition specialists <clears throat> yep. coming to the door. Yeah, and um, sometimes we ask. It's kind of nice. I take a little survey mentally when I do some prospecting like that. So who do I need to talk to about employee recognition? And when was the last time you were recognized? And you can get some, oh, they don't reckon, you know, you can get some real <laughs> stories. Yeah. So you make a friend. You learn out. a lot about the company. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like sending you. Sit down, let me tell you. It's like sending your young kid. Uh, I don't know what my kids ever told their teachers what goes on at the top. You send a first or second grade, these teachers really learn a lot about it. But you can learn a lot from, the, oh, you know, this just like, when was the last time they recognized you? <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuff of that nature. Interesting. But Very that's the important thing, and it's stuff yeah. to learn, you know. Well, I would think in your industry, I've been in sales a long time. Mm -hmm. I would think in your industry, it would be hard to break into somebody if it wasn't top of mind for them. Like the example you gave earlier about um, they put their order in late and – I would see a lot of that. Yes. It's kind of an after, oh, you know what, we probably should, or it would be nice if. Right. And now they're behind the eight ball. I would see a lot of that. Um, but just coming in and talking to somebody, is that difficult to get them thinking ahead? Well, they need to think ahead and be more proactive. And we, we with this 360 program, retention, Employee retention, well, that's productivity. Why, that's why I think you know, today would be a good market for you because you have a reason for them to now start thinking ahead. We just have to change their mindset a little yes. bit. And we have to, you know, sales is timing. You know, timing is a big thing in sales. So HR directors change jobs and stuff, but we've always dealt with this company. But, you know, what have you dealt with them with? You know, we can take that whole thing. Yeah. There's, you know, there's companies, recognition companies out there. It'll give you uh, some companies run on a point system. You get so many points, you go to a catalog, you can choose a gift online, which is great. But they still want to be honored. You know, so I get a thousand dollar bonus. It's added to my check. Are you more up to show that? To, look at that bonus I got. Or, hey, look at this for yeah. they're going to show this off. You know, and when you give them the money or give them a gift card, it, it's not personal. Not they're proud of it. They got us, you know, they're yeah. so proud of those things. Yeah. Well, you brought up some very interesting points. I, I thought uh, you, you brought up a lot of good examples, a lot of good uh, applications for companies now to be considering how to maybe start incorporating more employee recognition, vendor recognition, supplier recognition, uh, all kinds of. Uh, Technical writing, uh, you know. The content is a key thing. Yep. And uh, so I thought you brought a lot, you, you shared a lot of good examples. If somebody wanted to reach out to you, how do they contact you? Well, real easy. John Orr at massandplaque.com, our website, www.massandplaque.com, or www.patentplaque.com. You're open for business? We're open for business. You could take a new customer? Oh, we'll take two. If you, you take two? You take two. <laughs> no, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds two. good. Well, hey, thanks for coming oh, in. I appreciate you taking oh, no time problem. today. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for listening today. Uh, I thought this was pretty interesting. It was just kind of a, a unique um, approach to the market right now. And, and as we all know, employees are number one. And I think John brought up some good ways, some good applications, some good thoughts to be thinking about. We got to get back to 
recognizing employees and taking care of them, and I thought it was good. You heard him. You can reach out to him at uh, uh, J Orr, right? J Orr at MassonPlack.com. Give him a call. He's open. He says he's got room for two more customers. Reach out to him. But hey, thanks for listening in today. If you like shows like this, hit subscribe. We'd like to hear from you. Like to like you to follow us. If you have an idea for a show or a topic you would like us to do. By all means, reach out to me, dharsh at danharsh.com. Love to hear from you. We'll try to get a show like that on the docket. But hey, thanks for tuning in today.